Well, that's interesting. Hey, Sprichter, how's it going, bud? Apparently, SoundCloud is having some problems right now because I'm trying to get the music going, and, uh, yeah. bad oh wait there it is you know what I, I think we can do it this way for now or maybe not Screw it, that works, that works, <laughs> that works. There's still no playlists, but yeah, there's still no playlists, but I think I think the, the music is fine. We'll, we'll just let it run through the thing, it's fine. Look it. If I refresh the page completely and go to playlists, oh, it's it's showing up now. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Uh, but yes, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Sorry about that. We were having some technical difficulties, as you could probably tell.
think this is the giant forest biome, which was not done properly. Let's take a look at this again. Yeah, that's a large area that it just did nothing with. Let's try that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spawn this biome while we're waiting, obviously. Um, you know, we'll sit back and, and talk. All right, guys. So this is a Q and A stream. So, um, that's crazy. Honey? Tristan?
I, yeah, I just have it going through Twitch right now. Um, I, I, we're, I just have it going through Twitch right now because the restream only allows like three hours. So I didn't want to have that artificial limit put on us. So I just have it going directly through Twitch right now. So. I don't know why my why that was muted that time. I didn't mute it that time, and it muted anyway. So anyway, yes, feel free to ask questions. Um, you know, we're trying to tell everybody kind of what the game is, um, kind of where things are, um, answer any questions anybody has, you know, that kind of stuff. So again, everybody feel free to, um, you know, feel free to, to, to ask any questions you have and uh, hang out. We appreciate it. Yes, you hear this little man right now.
Let me switch out to um, this one here. There we go. So now, you can, so now you can actually see him. Um, is that your mamas? Um, so this is an MMORPG, um, fantasy, obviously. Um, the idea is generally, um, based around, uh, real-time combat and exploration. sure what you mean I'm not I'm not sure what you're asking about what the game is about exactly I'm not sure exactly what you're asking there what oh yeah <laughs> he was smiling until he looked at the camera and then stopped smiling <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as Chaos Causer says, in addition, uh, you have platforming, which, as I said, is exploration, uh, puzzle solving, um, and the the weather systems and that sort of stuff too. Um, kind of really changing the battlefield to adapt to the to to. Uh, situations and stuff like that as well. Um, um. um. Yeah, guys, I mean, feel free to, to blast questions out. You know, we're trying to, like I said, we're trying to drum up support. Um, and obviously um, trying to kind of get everybody up to speed with what the game is, kind of where it's going, uh, where it is currently, that sort of thing. So, you know, don't, uh, don't um, be afraid to ask questions. jumpy today. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> oh, I mean, so the map that you're seeing right now actually has <laughs> the player on it. And you're not actively seeing it. I'm sorry, my son is like, stop pulling the beard, dude. You can pull the hair, I don't care, don't pull the beard. Um, so, I mean, this is just a test map that I'm working on, but... Um, 
if you look at the are you mm, stop with the beard please please mm, you're hurting me um so the player is um actually on the map and he's so small that you can't even see him I know, you're trying to give daddy kisses, but you can't grab his beard. <laughs> oh, yeah? Ooh, ow, you little butt. No beard, no beard. What did I tell you about the beard? Hmm? Um. Why do you have... Why do you have to sit there and say mom, huh? Where's the dad, huh? Where's the dada? Hmm? He's working on it. He, at first, all he would say was da, 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 da. And now he's mom, mom, mom. Aren't you? Um, so anyway, um, right now the player, if I'm not mistaken, is right about here. The different class, okay, you know what? What I can do, actually, to make this easier on all of us, even though I 100% hate to do this, Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Okay. Um, so you have the humans, the elves, the dwarves, barbarians, orcs, and dro. Um, oh boy. Let me go clean him up, guys. I'll be right back. Honey, I need help. One second, guys. I need to help my wife with the baby. But I will bring the classes up so you guys can see the classes. Uh, there's the class list.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. My son kind of uh, spat up on both of us. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, so we had to get him cleaned up. Um, okay, uh, so the question is, when are we doing another stress test? Um, hopefully soon. Um, but like I said, this I'm getting the map set up so that we can start putting things on there. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do is... Um, So, as you can see, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get this map up and running so that we can get things going, get things in there. Um, yeah, I don't know if she's just too young to understand... Um... Well, that someone's not always attached to their device to be able to take a call, or if. Yeah, she doesn't realize that people aren't available to talk to her immediately. That people are doing That's what I'm saying. I don't know if she doesn't realize it, or if. She was kind of that way with me. She would come over here while I'm streaming, and then she's, like, talking to me and stuff. And then I'm trying to, like, do two things at once. And she's, she's like, I don't know, slightly frustrated with me <laughs> because I'm, like, doing other things as well. What are the plans for dungeons? Um, that would be a better... That would be a better James question. Um, although I'll, I'll parrot what James says um, for the because we're gonna turn this into a YouTube video. Um, uh, these attributes are different, by the way. Um, we're we're going with a completely different system now, so ignore those. But these these are the classes. I know that a lot of the puzzle solving is in dungeons. Um, I'm also assuming that a lot of the explorational elements and the, like, the platforming stuff are also going to end up being in dungeons. Uh, that kind of stuff on the overworld is just not super... Uh, I wouldn't say it's not super viable, but it's, it's not super... Um, I don't know, it just wouldn't make a lot of sense. Um, I can actually show you guys some of the, the rope stuff once this is done. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and parrot what James is saying here so that you guys get a good idea of what's going on. Um, I mentioned that a lot of the puzzle elements and stuff like that are going to end up being in the dungeons. James says, yes, that's correct. You'll be able to swing from ropes and dungeons, for example, to reach new areas. You will have sliding floor puzzles, hidden treasure rooms, boss battles with unique music, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's that's in general kind of how that, that stuff works. Um, yes, PV, PvP, yes. Um, there's actually stuff here. Um... But it can only be done in the castles each map. Although I've been talking to James to put in like a, um, a matchmaking, um, 
like a matchmaking arena, like 1v1 sort of PvP. That way when you, you like you go into a queue, and then when somebody of similar level is also in the queue, it'll matchmake you two together, and then it's 1v1 in the arena. Uh, sorry, I just woke up, guys. Uh, he says, yes, we could have an arena in the big cities and players could watch. Yeah, I mean, that's that's in general the idea. Um, is that... Um, uh, it would be interesting, too, to kind of have, like, gla uh, gladi gla gladiatorial? Is that the word? Dan, what's the, would it be gladiatorial? Would that be the word? What? When I'm trying to say, like, they're, they're, a system is gladiatorial, like if it's, gl like, like, like how the gladiators <clears throat> used to be. When I'm saying that something is like a gladiatorial type of combat, does that make sense? Yeah, I'm not sure. But so anyway, the the, the idea is that it would be gl a gladiator style of combat to where um, you kind of have like people watching. Um, it would be interesting too to get bonuses based on like. Um, what the the audience thought of the combat, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, well, so the glad gladiatorial kind of the I don't think gladiatorial is the word. The gladiator style combat basically means um, you'll have like one person versus like some NPCs, uh, monsters, basically. Um, and then, um, once, you know, and then after that, you'll have a people coming in that's kind of 1v1. Once again, guys, sorry about my son. He's, uh, he's learning how to talk and he's just kind of like over there talking, talking away. But, um, so the idea would be, um, that you would be able to fight like NPC battles, um, and then, um... So you would fight against uh, different creatures in the arena, stuff like that. The better you do, and the more the audience thinks of you, then the more rewards you would get, and then you would have like 1v1 battles as well against other players. Um, so that would, you know, you would be um, at the start of the match, you would pick a weapon, and then you would pick a weapon uh, and an armor set, and then any time that you win, you would be able to like get more. So like a, a point system. The audience would it consist of other players, yes. Uh, James is also saying that there's gonna be a horde mode as well. So it would be a mixture of NPC and players, yeah. We're almost done on that. What about Coop? Uh, you mean co-op? <sighs> yes, co-op. Okay, um, so I mean the game is an MMORPG. So, um, I mean in inherently everybody is in the map together, right? Um, so, you know, obviously there's a party system, so you'll be able to get into parties. Um, I think it, I think it talks about that in here. Somewhere. 
This thing is not super great laid out. Um, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously there's a party system where you can party up with other players, so, I mean, that, that technically would be co-op. Or do you mean co-op in the arena? I mean, if there's 1v1 battles, I see no reason why you can't queue up as a, as a party and do party battles as well. I mean, it would literally just be a similar system, so it would just take the average power level of two teams and use that to match make. Jeez. Paoma says Pog. Pog indeed. Did the music stop again? Oh, I got to the end. Okay. I mean, we could, we could talk about um, the areas, too, because you were asking about the size of the map. So let's also talk about... Can you always change your class, or are you stuck with it once you've chosen? I think you're stuck with it. I'm not entirely certain, though. Some of this stuff is kind of in James's head, and I haven't thought to ask, but he knows all this stuff, so. Um, so you have the human island, which consists of the Haven Valley, the Cave of Sanctity, the Forest of Fairies, Tiroa Town, the Tiroa Graveyard, the Tiroan Highlands, and the Swamp of Changes. Um, let me actually go into the photos here. Environmental concepts. Uh, so this is this is a painting of the human island. So you can see here is Tiroa Town, the graveyard, the Forest of Fairies. Um, and then here's the docks. I don't think you can see the Swamp of Changes. I think it's behind here. Uh, James says class changing won't be possible. I, I, the Swamp of Changes, yeah. Um, he says changing classes won't be possible uh, as I want people to enjoy all the classes fully. Um... So what he's saying is, is he doesn't want people like my wife who uh, likes to change her class every five seconds and never really get a class to, to the end game. Isn't that right, babe? By the way, how's that Conjuration Bow character going? Oh yeah. I thought you did a bit in main quest. I thought the the whole like join the stormcloak things was part of the main quest. The stormcloak thing. Is that a side quest? 
I don't know, I haven't played a lot of Skyrim myself. I, 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 I played Oblivion more, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought behind the behind the, the hill. And then there, I don't know why the door wasn't painted in this concept, but there's there's a big door like right here that goes into the mountains. Will there be surprise encounters? Uh, probably not. I, I think you're I think you're talking about like uh, Final Fantasy or like Pokemon, that sort of thing. Because uh, if, if that's what you're talking about, um, then probably no. Most of the most of everything's on on the battlefield. Like a rift. Okay, so you're you're talking about literally like the game Rift where. Uh, a portal opens and just dumps a bunch of creatures out from the sky. Like in a town and stuff. Oh, okay, so I can actually show you guys where the player is now. So the player on the map is currently right here. Things are a little slow on the UI right now because it's dump it, it's dumping all the memory that it created, so This is the Tower of Darkness. This is this is a really cool. A lot of really cool concepts in here. Okay. Um, so going through the floor is going to be fixed, and also right now there's an issue with uh, pop in, so you can see things are popping in. Um, that's going to be fixed as well pretty soon, but yeah, so let me go ahead and run around here. So this is not final, obviously. The character is, um, but you can see that the ground textures are highly detailed. When I can actually get to another area, I'll show you that as well. This is the top of the mountain, so not a lot of stuff spawned up here. Um, but this is this is going to be where some towns are, because it's it's like a big open area. Um, so this is where we're going to place some towns and stuff, because this is was left open for that reason. I think, is that the Forest of Fairies area over there? It's hard to orient myself on, no, it's on the other side. It's actually on the other side, so we'll head over there. This, this map is literally brand new. Like, we literally just put this map together. Um, so, there's a lot that still needs to be done on the map itself, but. Um, and then, if you guys stick around after the Q&A stream, um, I'm going to start doing some basic combat, get some basic characters in here, um, stuff like that. So it's, it's going to be a fun time.
So there's still some more things I need to add to this map too. Put some post processing needs to be added. Um, I need to add. I need to export this into Map Magic. Um, but there's some cool things that we can do, and I'll actually show you guys. Um, so it's using the same tech as. Um, it's using the same tech as uh, the Shinobi Origins series, so it, it you, I can do things like have water flowing down the hills and stuff like that. Um, which actually, let me go ahead and do that. We can we'll have a little bit of fun. Create empty. Pop that down. We're gonna we're gonna make the character wet himself and the ground. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side because the, the other side has much more, um, much more detail. Like I said, this side was left intentionally blank because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that needs to be added in terms of towns and stuff. But so this side should be the side with the forest of fairies. I'm pretty sure. So I need to add like map magic and stuff to make this terrain look better. Um, but uh, yeah, that's good. That stuff's gonna be added pretty soon. I mean, there's gonna be a stream right after this one too, so. There's, the details should be denser here. I forgot to do that. Um, I need to call density, there we go. Think, is this the forest of fairies I think this is the forest of fairies and I just didn't add enough spawning weight to this area but as you can see there's a lot more like terrain details here um, like ferns and trees and stuff like that um, but I really want to show you so these little these little uh, like brown patches um, have a lot of detail in them so you can see right now well, that was interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, like I said, obviously things are in a state of kind of early development but here you know what I can actually show you guys so these brown areas have a lot of detail and you can see that it actually like the terrain is like bumped up and stuff so like there's like there's a lot of detail um, in these areas this is really cool too you can see that the terrain is literally 
like bumped up in these areas kind of follows the, the texture stuff like that I think that's the player character yeah but um, and then you have obviously the reflections are those spots the spots meant for villages um, no I mean the so like obviously let me show you this is gonna be Haven Valley um, over here so this is gonna be the the Haven camp Haven Valley area um, and then you have a big open spot for Taroa town and the graveyard the swamp of changes is in this area here the docks are going to be over here mm -hmm. so you can see big flower patch areas and so here's something that's really neat by the way the shorelines are actually wet So if we see, you can see where the, you know, where it, where it ends. Like, this is no longer wet here. But as you go down, you can see things are becoming more and more wet as it reaches towards the water. There's a couple things that I still need to add um, that will just kind of make this map pop. I just haven't done it yet. Um, Yeah, so as he says, on one side you have Haven Camp and Haven Valley, on the other side you have the Forest of Fairies, Tarot Highlands, Tarot Town, and the, gra the Graveyard, and the Swap of Changes. With a cave system which runs through the mountains in the middle of them. Yeah, so actually I have some interesting stuff I can show you guys. So on the side with Turoa Town. So obviously Haven Valley is over there. So this is where we want the thing to be. Let me click on the terrain, tools, digger, setup terrains. Um, yeah, this is the human starter island. Um, I'm I'm actually personally more excited for Ankist myself, but um, dig.
Um, hang on, it's... This is because... I don't have... the right, um... Um... Let me see... The reason that this is kind of purple is because I don't have the right, um, I do not have the right digger. Um, stuff set up here. Assets, digger data. Scenes, test island. It is not selecting the right shader. So this should be um hang on. Yeah, so each race has its own starting island. I probably already said that, but I'm working on getting this fixed up, so... There we go. So you can see it's adding more detail to kind of like anti, to, to remove the tiling, um, which makes things look really nice. Um...
And then I need to uh, add the distance resample as well. So you can see I'm actually digging out the terrain, but it's not showing it because it's got a... Um, I mean, really, whenever we want it to. I had this issue before and I fixed it. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to fix that. So I mean, does and does anybody have any other questions at this point? Like, I think that kind of defines you know when it's going to start. Because, oops. If we don't have any other questions, then there's I guess there's you know no reason for us not to just start the the development portion of the stream. Active LOD bias is 0 0.9. Hmm, mm, oh, that could be what's happening. Yeah, I may end up, again, just redoing this map. I'm just not feeling...
Okay, now I can add my feature. Okay, runtime, lighting, post-processing, lighting, HBAO. This is what I want. Oh, that's still there. That was, uh, that, so that, that test map was basically, okay, so the question was, I have a question from Discord. They are asking me what happened to the island in the media section, which had buildings. Uh, that, so that still exists. I think what we'll do is we'll do, I think we'll just redo this map um, but so that one the one that you guys are talking about is from a slightly older version of Gaia you want to know why it's not being used over making a new one um, so that map was horribly optimized uh, that map literally ran at 12 frames per second so the, the new maps are much more optimized. Like at the end of the day, that's, that's literally the reason. That map like ran at 12 frames per second. I don't know, do we have a picture? Cause there was a picture I had where I actually showed the, the stats. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I got cut off. James, your picture taking sucks. So yeah, it got cut off. But if you, this over here, it literally ran at like 12 frames a second. It was really bad. So this is the one you're talking about, the Gaia Pro sample, which has been optimized now, so. Here, so I'll stamp it. I mean, I hope that answers the question in general. Yeah, Unity is being stupid today. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's fine. Yeah, I just didn't feel like anybody wanted to run around on a map that was like literally 12 frames. <laughs> it was really bad. I mean, even on my rig, which my rig is actually pretty powerful, so... So if we look at my my Nova bench, you can see that my GPU has uh, 6,658 gigaflops of memory, um, and it runs an extremely high scene at, or an extremely um, detailed scene at 180 FPS, and even on my rig, it was running at 12 frames a second. <clears throat> the issue was is that um, they weren't, the textures weren't being streamed, um, and there was no batching happening, so it, it was causing like 50,000 draw calls at a time. So that was really, at the end of the day, kind of the reason why it was taking, like, the reason why it was doing frame, uh, 12 frames a second um, was, in general, the draw calls were not very well optimized. Um, and so I had a talk with the people who um, designed the Gaia system that we're using for making maps. Um, and they decided to, um, like re-optimize the tool so that it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't lag like that. for me. Yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions about the game, feel free to ask. So that resolves that problem. Oops. Stop it. There we go. All right, let's change this to six. Um, movement direction is fine. This is going to be 9 and 9. I mean, I nibble a little bit, you know.
7.9. Okay. Um, so then the next thing I do is I go to game creator trigger. Since this is going to take a second, I'm trying to get everything set up so that we don't, as soon as it's done, we don't have to fuck around with it. Let's try after finishing. Yes, the sacred tea post. Exactly. So, should we pop over uh, to a dev stream now? Okay. Um, so, let's go ahead and end this one now. Um, so, I'm going to pop over to my, my other camera here. Let's go VCAM. Okay, uh, so yeah, we want to thank everybody who was able to make it out to the question and answer stream. Um, we're going to do a development stream right after this, so please stick around. Um, where I'm going to completely finish off this map and we'll start getting actual gameplay in here. Um, and then kind of as things get going, we're going to be doing another stress test. Um, and we're going to think about doing, um, we're going to be, we'll, we'll be talking about some stuff during the development stream. But um, again, we want to thank everybody who is able to make it out. Um, and we'll see you guys right after this for the next stream, hopefully, um, which I'm going to be working on the game. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next stream.